NASA sent thousands of jellyfish into space, but when the babies returned to Earth, there was a significant problem. The study that wanted to record the effects of microgravity as creatures would grow from polyps to jellyfish. Maybe this is a warning about the future colonization of humans in space. Popsy notes of NASA's findings in a bizarre experiment that seems to show that babies born in space may never be able to manage proper gravity. NASA began sending the, fire, the first jellyfish into space on the Columbia Space Shuttle in the early 1990s. The purpose of this live cargo was to test whether a space flight would affect their development. The payload of 2,478 jellyfish of the polyp stage traveled in bottles and bags filled with artificial seawater. The astronauts provided the mixture of chemicals that would allow the jellyfish to swim freely and reproduce. During the mission, the creatures multiplied, and by the end, there were about 60,000 jellyfish in orbit around the Earth. The study, which sought to document the effects of microgravity as creatures would grow from jellyfish polyps, also aimed to observe how they would react when they returned to Earth and the planet's gravitational conditions. Jellyfish, a very different creature from humans, have something in common with us. They can orient themselves by gravity through a complex system that they develop. As a jellyfish grows, it forms calcium sulfate crystals beneath its body. These crystals, surrounded by a small cell membrane lined with specialized hairs attached to a system of neurons, play an important role in how jellyfish are able to detect directions and separate the top and bottom while only needed for the process is gravity. Humans are equally sensitive to the sense of both gravity and acceleration being done by using autoliths, calcium carbonate crystals inside our ears that move the supersensitive capillaries, thus informing our brains about the attraction of gravity. And here, perhaps, there is some connection between what happened to the space jellyfish and how perhaps the same thing happened to humans. The jellyfish that returned to Earth had difficulty swimming in the water and did not appear to have developed the same gravitational abilities as their earthly relatives. Although the system was seemingly well developed, the organisms had problems with swimming, irregularities in pulse and movement, and showed instability, or as sciences put it more simply, had something like permanent vertigo. The researchers' report was published in Advances in Space Research. This is amazing, isn't it? And this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please I'll leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.